All right, I'm back. It's been a while. Today, I would like to talk about people getting easily offended. I know, it's the culture we're living in today, but, you know, find yourself some friends that have the same sense of humor as you, or you're going to find yourself losing friends. Um, I was talking to a buddy on the other day, and he made a classic uh, South Park reference. He was like, you might be a gay fish. I was like, yeah, I like fish sticks. And then he wrote LOL, and I wrote, it's only scales, you know? I thought it was funny. We all started cracking up. But, uh, you know, another example, I had uh, made a joke to a friend of mine. I was like, wow, I mean, you probably got low self-esteem and daddy issues, and said person got bent out of shape and was like, don't talk about my pops like that. He's a good dude. And I was like, yo, it was a joke, man. Why don't you hose the sand out of your VJJ, man? What's the matter? What are you all bent out of shape for? You got a case of the red bumpies? Come on, have a sense of humor. <laughs> One time I was coming out of the outhouse, bumped into a buddy of mine, you know, who's going in on the job site. And I was just joking around. I turned to him and I said, yo, man, a spider's supposed to come out of your dick when you pee? Is that bad? He goes, only if they're red spiders. And we both laughed and went in the outhouse and everybody thought it was funny. You know what I mean? I'm short, right? And I'm chubby couple months ago, you guys probably don't know this, uh, unless you're my age, you've seen the movie Willow, homeboy was a little person, my buddy who runs the crane over here was like, hey, Fat Willow, come over here, I want to talk to you, I was like, oh, snap, that's mad funny, right, and the dude's a ginger, I was like, we up in that crane cab looking like fucking Yukon Cornelius, there ain't no silver in there, and we both had a good laugh, you know, but, uh, yeah, certain people, I'll make jokes, and then they're like, I mean, that, that was inappropriate. I'm like, maybe we shouldn't be from, maybe maybe you need Dave Light. Dave Light. But I don't come in Dave Light too often. Only in like certain social situations where I'm trying not to embarrass somebody. Anyways, seriously, get yourself some like-minded friends so you can say stupid shit to each other like, Hey man, I don't have a head like yours in my collection. Just shit like that. You know, what I love to do is meet total strangers and just turn to them and go, if you clear them, if you clear your mind, the mothership will beam you up. I'm waiting right now. I like to see their reactions and shit, but yeah, man, people are so easily offended. The thing I don't get, last year people were bent out of shape about the Christmas song, Baby, It's Cold Outside. And other people have made this reference. This isn't my um, original reference, but now Retardy B's WAP is like the number one song. So that's acceptable. But a classic Christmas song like Baby It's Cold Outside is sexist. Maybe we need to step back and, and, and think about like, what are we really mad at? You know what I mean? People are so stupid. That offends me. Yet, you know, you put any rap song on, somebody's dropping F-bombs, N-bombs, talking about shooting somebody, possibly smacking bitches, but that's okay. No, that's art. That's an art form. I mean, I'm not saying it isn't. But, you know, if you're offended by something stupid like a dude on a fucking box of rice, but you're listening to some fucking serious gangster rap, people talking about shooting each other in the face, man, you get your priorities fucked up. Anyways, I mean, I, I think people like that, you know, they're either doing good drugs. It's either they need drugs or they're doing too much drugs. I mean, I don't know. Anywho, till next time. Uh, be good to each other, and uh, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. I hope I made some people laugh or pointed out a few things. Have a nice time. Be good.